Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. I'm Kira and if this is one of your first videos of mine that you're watching, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. So for today's video, um, it's actually something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, even before I had started YouTube, and that is telling you about my first tattoo. I got a tattoo um, towards the end of last year and since then I've gotten many questions about what my experience was like, um, do I regret it, do I love it after all these months later, I think it's nearly six months since I've gotten it, as well as uh, what was the actual experience of getting a tattoo because it's a very strange concept to describe if you haven't had it before because, okay, you'll see as I go on in the video, but yes, that is what today's video is going to be about. So, um, about what my tattoo is, it is a sunflower with an elephant in it. And this is something that me and um, the tattoo artist that did my tattoo uh, what we designed together and um, the meaning behind it um, I actually lost my grandmother towards the end of um, last year and so I we were very close and we had a lot in common and I just wanted something to celebrate her life and to commemorate the relationship that we had and the reason why it's a sunflower is because we are both avid nature lovers, whether it's the smallest thing like looking at a plant or whether it was, um, I don't know, even watering grass. We would both find a lot of joy in that. And with elephants, uh, we it's been our like favorite animal since I can remember. I think my love for it actually came from her. And um, you'll see like as my channel grows and you guys get to know me a bit better um, to say I love elephants is actually a understatement I always have something of an elephant or Lord Ganesha which um, is a Hindu god and he has the head of an elephant um, I'll always have something like that either near me or I'm wearing it uh, like I used to have a pencil case that always had an elephant on it a keyring that always had an elephant it's actually today um, I don't know if you guys could see this, but my earring, actually let me be like an old school beauty guru, there you go, uh, I'm wearing that today, so that is the meaning behind my uh, tattoo, and so to start off, uh, when did I get it, I got it, I cannot remember, so South Africa doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's an American holiday, but we still have a lot of deals that go on because a lot of the shops um, and retail stores that we have are actually American brands such as like um, Cotton On, Factory, I think they are American, I mean I really don't know but that's what I'm assuming. And so we still get a lot of Black Friday deals. And so I got it um, I think the Saturday after Black Friday because my tattoo artist, her deal was running throughout the Thanksgiving weekend kind of time and so it was actually me and one of my close friends Shannon um, we both uh, well she actually found it on Instagram she saw an ad for it and um, this lady had a really good deal I think it, I cannot remember the right price but I think it was like two or three hundred rand for a five centimeter by five centimeter tattoo I think that that is what it the deal was and it was a really good deal because tattoos are extremely expensive as you guys know if you already have one already or if you've researched the prices they can get quite pricey but obviously it's dependent on the size and her deal was not bad at all and because I'd wanted it for such a long time and I'd spoken to my friends I really wanted something from my grandmother she um my friend shannon she really uh wanted us to get it together and so she ended up getting a dragon and i ended up getting my tattoo hold on a second my dog is at the door hold on <laughs> sorry about that um 
but yes yeah, she also got hers at the same time and so we booked our deal at the same time she did the booking because i had no idea what to do uh, how to con converse about it how what to ask so um she asked everything and she booked everything and the lady that we got it was extremely nice i don't think i would have wanted anyone else to do my um first tattoo she made us feel so comfortable she answered every single of our every single one of our questions even though we asked some dumb ones some ones that were like repetitive it was just i think we were both just very nervous especially me i really like to research before i do something most of the time i mean i can be spontaneous but with things like this like a tattoo is something that is going to be on your body for the rest of your life and with my fear of needles i wanted to make sure that i was prepared and so i did um ask her tons of questions and she was so accommodating she made sure that uh, my design was right i think she sent me about four or five different ways that she designed it because i sent like a template of what i wanted to do i drew kind of it but she's the tattoo artist so she would have known like exactly the dimensions and how it should look and stuff like that and so she was extremely helpful and just made the experience more enjoyable i think if i had someone that was just so interested in getting the tattoo over and done with and didn't want to answer questions i think i probably would have not gone um through with it so um my mom actually took me and my friend and we both went i think our appointment was like at midday uh and so my mom drove us there and we both went in and immediately like i don't know good vibes in the place that's all i'm gonna say she was just so calming and i've already said she answered so many of our questions so in that sense it was um really really uh inviting to be there as well i'm definitely a person that if i can sense something is up with the place i will not go through it the same thing with restaurants if it's like like my mom even if it's dumb littered we will not dumb littered um, if it has a dim light <laughs> um, we won't go through with it and here she was just extremely hygienic her place was clean uh, everything was quite organized she um, had really good lighting and so that also just made my fear a bit less extreme and intense um so where did i get my tattoo i ended up getting my tattoo on my top left shoulder so like not here but like there kind of like just um by my shoulder blade not on the bone but the muscle uh, um above and the reason that i did this is because with all the research that i did it's um, probably the best place to get your first tattoo because it's the least sore um so i ended up getting it there and when we got there she made sure first that we were okay with our designs and then she printed it out on like it's not a temporary tattoo but it's like that so she disinfected the area that she's going to be doing it on and she put this tattoo on and it comes off and it eventually washes away obviously but you tattoo over that i didn't know that's how it's done i thought tattoo artists actually do it freehand um but i think um with her specifically because it was a specific design um she had like a template which she put on and which she tattooed over and so i was like okay i think i might go first before getting there and then i was still nervous so my friend she said it's okay i'll go first and the tattoo artist another thing that she really really um uh did well and helped me feel comfortable that she said i can watch it so i told you guys already i am terrified of needles but i have no problem like watching um other people uh with needles that sounds really dark but i don't uh, i don't mind watching it so i watched my friend um get it i saw how it was done my friend kind of explained what the pain was like um and so i was i would think i was very ready by that time to actually um get to doing it um but um sorry going a bit back with my fear of needles and how bad it actually is so that you can kind of get an idea of how bad my fear is um i was 18 
when I last got my blood drawn and I cried like a baby and that is not an expression the nurse literally said I've never seen an 18 year old cry so badly but anyway it was because they could not find my veins so they tried like seven different veins like all over here 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 and even on my thumb I think they eventually settled on my thumb and I howled I had to put like a blank not a blanket um my jacket over my face because I could not actually deal with it I was crying they had to hold down my hand my mom was with me I was too like I was too but a fear is a fear okay don't judge me <laughs> um but yes that's why I was so terrified even with all the research that I'd done and even though um my tattoo artist made me feel extremely comfortable when I did get there and I had seen my friend get her tattoo I was still a bit scared because I had no idea what to expect and my last experience with a needle did not go very well and so I was very very scared but then um she asked me my tattoo artist she asked me are you ready and i said okay let's just go for it if i scream i told her if i scream i'm extremely sorry and she's like you have nothing to be worried about and it was true it literally was very anticlimactic. it was not so at all and my tattoo artist and my friend both said it was going to be more like of an annoying feeling rather than being sore and the best way that I can describe it is it feels like a cat scratch or like if your dog has ever scratched you um that is what I felt like that that same burning sensation mixed with you know when you're a kid and you played with like candle wax that's kind of what it felt like it was amalgamation of those two feelings and so it was not so at all more annoying and uh, irritating but it was not sore at all but I will give a disclaimer I did get it on the least sore spot on your body and for those of you who are wondering about what the most sore spot is I did ask my tattoo artist and she said that it is your inner bicep so like around this area as well as your ribs because um, here it is the most nerves and on your rib it's the closest to your bones so she said those are the two worst ones so um, if you are looking for that maybe you, uh, you can finish watching this video and go and watch someone else that has had a tattoo in the exact spot you're thinking of but overall I don't think the pain was bad and that says a lot because with the needles like even the smallest prick like I can cry so for me to say that this was not sore at all and more annoying, it means it was not sore and it was not annoying. I mean, it was, it wasn't sore and it is annoying. Yes, that is it. And my tattoo overall, I think took about 20 to 30 minutes. And um, in between my tattoo artist, if I'm doing, asked if I'm doing fine, she kept conversation going. She asked about like university and stuff like that, just to make sure we feel again, comfortable and that um, we are okay with it as well as because she knew I was so nervous she was trying to, to kind of take my um, mind off the tattoo and so when I was done I could not believe that I had it it was like it was such a good feeling and I think that does come because um, the tattoo did mean so much to me not that your tattoo has to make Say, uh, like have a meaning if you want a tattoo and you really like like just the design of it go ahead and go for it but for me I think um, seeing something that I've designed myself and that I'd wanted for so long and having like that little piece of my grandmother like carried with me for the rest of my life I loved my tattoo and um, for the uh, pain afterwards and the caretaking of it uh, when the tattoo was done, for the most part, it was okay, uh, but uh, I had like little dots, which you'll see, I'll insert a picture towards the end of the video, or I already inserted at the back, but um, with the inner part of the tattoo that surrounds the elephant, there was quite a lot of dots, and so I got a little bit of blistering and a lot of scabs there, and so 
I would say that um, the sore part of getting a tattoo is actually the aftercare and ha what happened afterwards. Um, it was sore because I tried not to sleep on it. So that would be my first tip is to not sleep on your shoulder or wherever you um, get your tattoo. Obviously, if you get it like on your rib or something, it can be a bit difficult to not sleep on it. But for me, it was on my back and I'm a belly sleeper or a side sleeper anyways. So I try to avoid that. My second tip, if you're getting a tattoo on your shoulder like I did, or even if you're not, is to leave the area bare. So I thank God that for us it was summer. So I mostly wore tank tops throughout um, the December and January summer holidays just so nothing is chafing um, on it and nothing uh, gets caught on your scabs because it's like uh, your scab is going to form because they've cut through the skin and inserted ink. That's what a tattoo is. So it's going to form scabs and you don't want it being ripped off by like, um, like your, pardon me, your, your clothing, sorry. And so... That is my second tip. Now my third tip, oh, these are my tips as well as um, my tattoo artist's tip because I did ask her about the aftercare of your tattoo. So my third tip, as I was saying, is to use baby bum cream. I just use a generic um, type that my, I actually have a cousin and she's three. She's going to be three in July. And so I use the same brand of bum cream balm cream as her and the reason why you use balm cream is because it's very sensitive for your skin uh, I mean it is good for sensitive skin sorry it is extremely good for sensitive skin and it keeps the area um, not moist but like well lotioned you know because you don't want your like skin cracking or something so yes I used a uh, baby balm cream I just got um, one tube my mom got a tube for me and my friend and I probably only used like about three quarters of the balm cream and I applied it the fourth tip with this is to apply it three to four times a day and before you apply each new time you need to um, just dab the area with water and then rub your cream up you don't want to be rubbing the same germs into the scar tissue my fifth tip is to try and not wet okay that is my sister. Do you want to come say hi? Hey. I'm going to say oh, I need to come to the room at two to study. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that segue. Please close the door when you go. There's a thing outside, by the way. Okay. Sorry for that. Um, where was I? I think I said the last thing that I said was that you need to do it three to four times. Yes, that was the last thing. My fifth tip is to try and not get the area wet and so um, try to uh, when you're having a shower uh, like face for me my shoulder face it away from the um, where the shower head is hitting and obviously um, with other places uh, they can they can put cling film around it but with me because it was on my shoulder there's no way that I could have like put the cling for my wrist I like put it like all around me but I didn't want to do that so I just was extremely careful with that but you can use cling wrap like if you get it on your hand or something you can just cling wrap it and try and avoid it getting into water and I am uh from what I saw you should do two weeks of getting it of not getting it wet but for me I did it for three weeks just to be in case just to be safe as well as I saw there was still some scar tissue after my two weeks and so that's another thing you can research and you can ask your tattoo artist for tons of um, tips but at the end of the day you also have to look at how your tattoo is doing how is it healing for you is it sore is it not so do you still have scar tissue after the two weeks or the three weeks um, make sure that you're taking really really good care of it if you want to put on baby bum cream five or six times go ahead and do that obviously make sure that it's um, quite hygienic you're not like putting it really um, you're not lathering it on too thickly that it doesn't allow your scar tissue to breathe um, and you should be fine. Um, so those are my uh, biggest tips of how I took care of my, um, um, my tattoo. 
and i hope that this video was extremely helpful i know a lot of you have asked me tons of questions about it and i hope that if you're someone watching if you are someone that is watching and you're really thinking of getting a tattoo i hope this has answered some of your questions and it has eased some of your fears if you have a fear of needles like myself and just another tip before i sign off is to if you see that um you're getting a bit of a um rash on your shoulder or it's extremely sensitive even after four or five weeks and you can see that it's not healing go back to uh, message your um, tattoo artist again and ask if it's normal or um, if she or he says that it's actually not supposed to be like that go and consult a doctor I mean there's no um, reason to not go there because for all you know sometimes infections can be picked up it's the same with piercings um, and so yes that is my final tip I hope that you guys have had a great weekend uh, so far and a great week previously and I hope that your following week is filled with so much love, happiness, positivity and prosperity. Love you guys. Bye.